What is up, Madden NFL 25 gamers? In today's episode of Scheme of the Week, we're going to be taking a look at the full game breakdown. I'm the Cleveland Browns. My opponent's using the um, Green Bay Packers, and we're going to break down this uh, offense and defense. Uh, on offense, we're utilizing the Chicago Bears offensive playbook, and I, I apologize for telling you guys wrong the other day for saying we're using the Houston playbook on defense. Um, we're actually using the Baltimore playbook, but the 2-3-6 can also be found in the Houston playbook. I apologize for uh, making that little mistake there. Um, starting off, he got a clipping penalty, but that's not his fault, so I'm just going to decline it because it really doesn't matter in my opinion, but if you are playing for money, obviously you can accept that or whatever you want to do. Alright, so starting out, we're going to come out in our base look here, out of the cover three bluff, and we're going to set up our right edge pressure. Um, starting off here with the Quell Jackson user controlled. And that's really, and that's just kind of something that is unfortunate for him. I mean, he should he should have got that ball off. That's for sure. Um, also, guys, if you want the full uh, playbook and what I'm using in this game, um, be sure to um, be sure to check out the downloadable. There should be a downloadable uh, little Madden Share playbook with all the quick audible setup for you for both schemes. Uh, I mean, I'm going to try to start doing that before each game so that you guys can have access to it and so that I can have access to it in-game. So that's what we're doing with that. Um, so right off the bat, my opponent's got in a situation here where he's going to have to go uh, for a pass that's going to be middle, minimum range, middle range. So I'm going to set up some two-way pressure here, try to jump his reads. Oh, I'm standing right there, but unfortunately... <laughs> The ball hawk feature is not as good as it was last year. All right, so now we're going to go back to the base play. Actually, we're going to go to the man coverage. Baseline press. Get Mingo out of there. Ah, dang. So that was just kind of a tough situation to be in because he's coming out in five wide. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and come out in the cover three bluff and send heat here. Um, I know I typically will go to the zone look, but I just have a feeling that this is going to be. There you see that cover three bluff hook zone. I was surprised I didn't get that interception. I feel like McFadden will normally get that for me. Um, once again, guys, this is a, a defense that you can do a lot with. I really like it a lot. There's a lot more to it than what I broke down, um, to be honest. But, again, as far as, a, as, far as a, what I run in game, you know, I mean, there's a lot of other cute things you can do. Like, you could set up a contain here and there. Or you can set up a spy, or you can do it out of a different play. But it's all the basic concepts that I use from this. So I felt like it would be a good scheme of the week for you guys to see. All right. There's the pick that I wanted to get. That's why you use the cover three bluff as your base play, guys. Because those yellow zones jump everything for some reason. I don't know why. I can't explain it to you. I can't explain half the things that happen in this game, but I do know that it's effective and it works, and that's why um, you got you know that's why you gotta run the play. So, all right, coming out, we're gonna start out in Z spot, just standard here. Uh, just kind of get going here with Gordon on that little motion snap. He's got the user control player underneath, but normally I can still get that open. Um, that's a very tough route to to user control because it's under it's an underneath route. Um, so there was zone coverage. We have the trio. We have our single back doubles. We even have the bunch if we want. But I'm just going to check down. And this is, like I said, you know, this is what I love about this doubles. Is it's just a quick, quick hitting run play. Nothing too special. But, again, you can run it left. You can run it right. You can do a lot of things with it. And that's why we like it so much. So here, back to the Z spot. Got Hoyer at the helm here. And he's going to leave that big post open for bees, and bees drops it, of course. That's unfortunate. That actually was almost intercepted. I be honest, I mean, I probably should should have trusted that a little bit more. Why have I? I forgot to flip the formation, unfortunately, too. You have to flip the formation, guys. Otherwise, it doesn't work right. Um, the motion snap won't work right to the right side of the field. I apologize if I didn't break that down. I should have. I should have remembered to say that when we were breaking it down. I hope I did. But I have a bad feeling I didn't remember to say that. But that that's the main reason we come out and it flipped every time. 
So in this short yardage situation, I'm going to hot route my tight end to a zig, you know, just in case he was using that drag. But you'll see. I mean, I'll throw that drag all day if he wants. But since he's been going to a lot of zone looks, I'm going to go ahead and go into my zone beater here. I have a feeling that's what he wants to do. Uh, I'm going to put Whitaker on that flat pass. Motion him out. Snap it. Another zone look. We'll just take that underneath the drag. I mean, we'll take drags for days, guys. I mean, I have no problem with throwing a drag every single time if that's what he gives me. So, here I'm going to check down into the PA post. Just show him that play. I really like this play a lot. Um, here we're going to hit that underneath drag coming across the middle of the field. And now I feel like it's about time for uh, him to start going into man. So we're just going to check down into the single back tight. And we're just going to run some halfback dive. Remember, you need to flip this formation, guys. I cannot stress that enough. Make everything look the same. Go ahead and flip it even when you're only running the ball. Here we're going to play maker that run to the left because I like it that way. We're going to motion him in. And we're looking to cut back across the field there. Again, another quick six, another quick three, um, three, four yards there. Whew, excuse me, I'm a little, uh, a little under the weather this week. Another drag. I mean, this, this, and I fumbled the ball. That on it. Hate fumbling the freaking ball. Gosh dang it. Defense gets a stop. Looking great. And I just got fumbled a freaking ball. Dang on it. Alright, so we're going to send two way here. Or no, we're just sending one way. Just the base play, yeah. Just the base play. Cover three bluff. And we'll, I mean, we'll show that for a while. Um, the one problem with, like I said, you know, the two-man under being the man coverage is not, you know, this 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 guide uh, or in this scheme we like to use the um, the cover one with um, what because of the because of the press issue. And hey, look at that! The Browns cause a fumble. That's a shocker. And that's what I was saying about the Browns being one of the better defenses in the game. Um, they have really really effective hit power. I don't know if you guys have checked or not, but. If you talk to Ryan Dykes, he'll he'll give you the rundown. Um, this is his team. He really likes to use the Browns, and it's mainly because of their hit power. They have really effective hit power. Um, and as you see there with a, another fumble, here I got this deep post, a lot of max coverage coming out. That was his first man coverage call of the game, and that's why I was saying I, I should have hit that corner round. I bet it was open, but I just, I just was a little bit locked in on the drag being so open at the snap. I didn't get... I didn't catch that other route coming in. And now you see I, I don't miss it twice in a row. There's the drag. First and goal. Uh, we're just going to check down. And like I said, this is why I like single back doubles. It's like one quick audible and you're there. And then there it's just a quick adjustment. You're snapping the ball. They have no, I they have no idea you're in a running set. Boom, touchdown. That's, how, that's why I love that play. Uh, it's not necessarily something that's going to get you you know, seven, eight yards every time, but it's one of those runs that's going to get you two, three yards, nine times out of ten, mix it in with the tight flex formation and everything we can do from it. It's a very good scheme, guys. It's, it's, let's be honest. I mean, uh, like I said, I like to get it in a quick hike situation. It's not a play I'm just going to come out in, um, but it is a play that I am going to quick hike in that situation right there. Five yards to go. Just boom. Quick hike it. Go, 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 go. And keep going. Keep your foot on the gas pedal with this scheme, guys. It's very important. Okay. So back to the defense here. Uh, set the D up. I think I'm in the wrong play. No, I just forgot the press coverage. Dang it. So, um, in the 4-4 D I've been working on lately, you're not supposed to press coverage. I've been working on some stuff with off coverage. Because um, I know a lot, a lot of times I'll do baseline and press um, stuff. But I just for that I just had a little brain fart there. Sorry about that. Okay. So now we got the play set up. There's a draw. And that's what I like about this 2-3-6 you, is you're in the middle. And, and that's the thing. Like, you're in the middle. And I feel like if you can limit yourself, that one little inch is in the middle. That's going to save you guys. It, it really does because it allows you to do what you do best. Roam the middle of the field and make plays. And there, that I, that, there I gambled on that drag. I saw the drag coming underneath. I was going to gamble on that third and eight. I wouldn't, you know, I would see him throwing that drag probably nine times out of ten. Okay, so here we're going to go to the zone blitz. I'm 
Should have probably been in the run defense. Dad gone, and I got burnt. I got that was a sweet tackle. I got knocked off my thing. Man blitz is the uh, silver suit pinch, if I remember correctly. We only got the cover four if we need it. But I really am a big fan of this cover six or not the cover six, cover three bluff. All right, cover three bluff again here. Okay, so he's gonna start running the ball. Looks like. Cover the, and like I'm saying, like this formation is just set up. Gap integrity. Um, it's gonna force them to run up the middle on you. All right, we're gonna go to our run defense, the free safety middle here. All right, we need to get out of that. We're gonna audible into the, the man man coverage here. Oh, oh, did he catch that? Oh my gosh! There was two guys there. No replay, no nothing. That's just a catch. Man, I find that hard to believe. Dang. Man, it's actually 3.54 real time. Man, it is late. But, anyways, guys, that's just part of it. I mean, sometimes they're going to get crap like that, and it's going to happen. That's just part of the deal. But, anywho. Let's hope we can get some of that. Alright, so, and guys, it's easy as crap to kick return in this game. So, I recommend kicking short or kicking it, like, all the way to the left. So, but, that's just part of the gig. If you kick to me, if you kick to it, that's why you use the Browns. I mean, you got 98 speed guy. Why would I not, why would I not put him back there to kick return, you know? I don't know. What do you guys think about the kick return? What do you guys do? I mean, I, I've only given up one kick return uh, in about 10 games doing this kick right here, all the way to the left and full power, full accuracy. And then just using the kicker and, and sliding him over, holding L2 just in case they get past this wall right here that's about to kill him. And that's, you know, usually that's at the end of, end of that. But I've given up one uh, kick return, but he did have to break a couple tackles. So, you know, I'm not mad at that. All right, we need to get to the. Yes, we got the cover two sink. Awesome. We're gonna go to that now. Dang it, I forgot to get that spy out there. Pick the ball off, Mingo. Golly, buddy. Dang it. Unfortunately, Mingo had better things to do than to catch the ball. Now we got our spy out there. Now we're good. And this is a really good fag defense. Yeah, that's really good. That's really good stuff right there. So right there, two two times in a row. He's been hitting us quick, quick, quick. So eventually, we're going to catch on, and we're just going to go with that. Now we're going to go to cover three bluff, and we're going to send single side pressure just to see if he starts blocking people. Gosh, I cannot. Hmm. I don't know how I'm getting all these fumbles. I guess Madden's just saying you made you were there in position. We didn't give you the interception, so we're gonna give you the fumble. Dang on it, man! I should have had that picked. Gosh, dang it! I I keep missing those easy interceptions in this game. I don't know why. I guess I'm just not as good as I once was. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, right there, that was the cover three bluff. We were just using the middle of the field. It was just a matter of time before he was gonna make a mistake. I don't know what Hoyer did on that one. That's one thing I've noticed with the Browns is like, even though quarterbacks really aren't that important in this game, when you're using a team like the Browns, um, for some reason it it, it it automatically just comes important. Uh, here, um, this is just a situation where he just ran man coverage a couple times in a row, so we're gonna run man. Uh, I need to flip this play back. Forgot to flip my stupid play here. Three steps left, drag, got that streak, user catch, fortunately best drops it, that's going to leave me third down, third down and ten here, a uh, couple man calls in a row and then he got his own in, so I like the way he's mixing up his coverages, that's really interesting, but in this situation, I've got to trust this, uh, I gotta trust this this guy's either gonna call man. I should have something here. Uh and I got that wheel route. 
catch the ball, Whitaker. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Uh, here, you got to take your points. Early in the game, you know, you're up by a possession. Uh, I think I kicked it off, too, so got to take your points here. Probably should have ran the ball at least once there. I'm kind of disappointed that I did not do that. Um, but I mean, there and there was I mean, there's two, three drops on that one. So there's just nothing you can do there. Uh, you take your three, you lock up on D. You don't worry about it. Uh, that's one of the things I talked about last time. I did, you know, I was a little more, le I was a little less sick, um, had a little more energy, but you just can't get mad at it. You just got to play. You just got to lock up. You got to stop complaining about it. That's that's something that. Uh, I'm trying to get better at. Um, that's something I've not always been the best at. Got to move these guys in manually. You can't, yeah, you can't man align because when you man align, it's going to f up your play. You have to manually move them in. That's the only drawback to this defense, which is why in that situation I would go to like a max coverage, like a two man under. Oh, excuse me. See, because here. Now we can just drop off, and it's fine. We can play the alignment game with him. Not have any problem. We still get the really nice um, press out of two men under when we need it. So, All right, this play, Sugar 3DB Fire all the way. We're actually going to yellow these guys on the outside. Hope they play the out routes, and that's what we were looking for right there. When they throw those streak routes, the deep blues are not going to do anything to them. The only thing that's going to stop those streaks Pass lead down streaks. Yellow zones. Go for that hit stick. Fourth and eight here. Uh, again, I want to send that sugar 3 dB fire at him. I have a feeling he won't be ready for it. Uh, Ward. Daggone it, TJ Ward. Uh, he ran underneath the stupid thing. Okay. All right, we'll go back to the cover three bluff here. Got two minutes to go in a half. The idea here is high risk, high reward um, defense. You're really not going to see a whole lot of max coverage defense. We're trying to force a turnover here. Um, you're going to see man blitz. You're actually going to see a man blitz right now. I haven't sent it yet. Really want to send it. I think I'm going to get home. Dang it. Through the stu Oh, that's horrible. That's horrible defense by me. Dang it, that's so bad. I should have uh, should have known. Corner route. Dang it. So right there, I called the man blitz, but the problem was I, I didn't think about the alignment of the formation. You had the dude compress. It was obvious he was going to throw a corner out. I just missed it. Completely missed it. So right there, like I said, and that's one thing I'm going to talk about. I got all these things I need to talk to you guys about in the ebook uh, or the little guide, the little how to play defensive tutorial I'm doing. Uh, unfortunately, there's not enough time in the day. I can't do it all. Quarterback sneak? Gosh dang it. I would have never thought that was what he was doing there. Thought he was going to do some kind of play action. I mean, it's tough to it's tough to guess what they're going to do with that close to the goal line. I mean, you can do a lot of stuff. And it's just a dicey situation. You're either going to get it or you're not. I mean, it's it's not like one of those things where you can really kind of, you can just predict what they're going to gonna do, you know. Benjamin's a boss, by the way. So this two-minute drill, this is where I like to use that five wide receiver trio. Um, if you guys remember, I talked about that. We like to sub in Campbell at quarterback. I like to put, um, where's Benjamin at? There he is. Put Benjamin in the slot here. We like to stack. I like to stack my receivers personally, and then we'll put Cameron on that outside with Benjamin, and we come out in the play mesh, and we're just gonna run that first off. I do like to start with the other one, but there's that deep post. I really like that deep post. Um, does a good job of getting beaten me in. Um, <coughs> excuse me. One of the things I also like to do, and this is something. Oh, I got the wrong. Let me see. Sometimes it messes up when you put tight ends there. Dang it, it's going to make Cameron run it. I think it's because I reset the play. Sometimes that happens, guys. When you use tight ends in this game, you need to be careful where they're lining up. Unfortunately, 
this game, I mean, it can sometimes be a good thing, but a lot of times it's not. So you have to be careful. Because right now I can't run that stupid sweep play. There's that corner route. Uh, a lot of people know this. I don't know how many of you guys don't know this. When you run a corner route... Is that right? That should... Dang it, I keep messing up. My freaking play. It's no big deal. That drag route kills me to me. I don't know why it does. But, um... What I was saying about the tight end situation. When you audible... For whatever reason, when tight ends are subbed in at wide receiver... It F's everything up. Like, they don't audible to the right spot. I mean, I have to run this stupid jet sweep just to give him a different look. Get out of bounds or something. Get Cameron off the field. But for whatever reason, guys, I don't know. I can't explain it to you. I don't know why. We need to call a timeout, unfortunately. We'll just keep going. We need to get Cameron off that side, though, for sure. There he goes. There he goes to the right. That's what we want. For now, we'll put... Yeah, we'll just put Cooper in there. I don't even know who he is, but we'll put him in there. We got Cooper and Johnson in the game. Same play, same story. Man. That was that user catch. Unfortunately, that's why we like to put Cameron there, because Cameron can get up with the best of them. But I have to... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to call that PA... Jet sweep here. Make that one adjustment. I'm mainly looking to run with Campbell and then call a timeout. Oh, son of a... That wasn't what I was trying to do, though. I forgot to cancel the freaking play action. See, guys, I, sometimes I forget my own freaking tips. on it. Right there, I needed to cancel that play action. So we're just going to make little what Cameron, what, what Cameron should have been forced, but unfortunately we can't do that because of the audible thing but now we can run jet sweep fortunately it's third and 13 though so kind of have to run mesh here okay oh my gosh are you kidding me stupid hook zones gosh dang it just a bad read should have hit the stupid mesh. I got greedy there. I was trying to pick up the stupid first down. I shouldn't have been doing that. Looks like he's just going to try to run the clock. Nope. Play action. Hits it. Dang it. Let's see if he wants one more play. To take it to half. We should get ball at half. And guys, I do like to run that five wide receiver coming out of half as well. So it's like a two possession look at it. And then we'll cut, and then we'll go back into the regular stuff. It's basically what I like to do with it because it's it's so good you can do it for that amount of time. But I feel like if if someone knows you're, and you know what, just for just for giggles, let's run this back just cause. But if someone knows you're in the uh, five wide receiver trio every time, they know you can't hobble out of it. So they know mesh. They know three plays you're gonna have to watch out for. So thanks for costing me a touchdown, slaughter. You slaughtered my chance at winning. But, yeah, guys, this is what I've been doing out of the Bears book. I, I really like this offense. Um, the one thing I don't like about it is the base. Like, it has a lot of stuff. But I feel like it's a little bit lacking in it. In the fact that it doesn't always... Oh, that should have been intercepted. Daggone, I'm sucking right now with my reads. But it doesn't always provide that that one formation you know that you can always go to if you need like this this is good I mean it's very tough to stop this but you can't audible out of it so it kind of limits you but I need that formation that allows me to get to everything else and they still have to worry about all the other stuff along on top of this so but I really like this I really like this as like a and a half scheme both sides and you know, hopefully you guys are, hopefully you guys are using it like that. Like I said, you know, I like to do it two minute drill if I have a chance to do it in the two minute drill, and then I do it first drive at a half. Because uh, typically you'll get one or two of these 
big time plays over top. So that's a good that's a good play to start out. I just noticed right there the read was I just kind of looked to the wheel. I saw he was using it, and then I looked to the right, saw the stuff was covered. Then I came back to the left and just saw that it was it, he just messed up on his user skill right there. I mean. I guess he was trying to jump that wheel route underneath it and uh, forgot that it goes up field afterwards. I don't know. I don't know what he was doing, guys. I don't know. See what I'm saying about those Browns, though? They just kill them. I don't know. Cleveland Browns, man. Might be one of the teams to think about. Okay. Coming out here. Uh, we'll just go. Base play here. See, like, those yellow zones out of cover through bluff just get everywhere. I don't know why. Can't explain it, guys. I cannot explain why these yellow zones are so good. But they they really are really good. Run. See, that's the thing about the 236. Like I told you, um, the stacking, the way it stacks itself, very difficult to... Um, get huge runs on. It's just kind of like a running a containment. Um, the idea there. I uh, here we're gonna go to this play. Sugar two buzz. I don't know if I broke it. Broke. Bro excuse me. I don't remember if I broke it down or not. But I like to use it in this situation. Then we forgot to option play the quarterback. Dang it. <sighs> okay. Um, uh, let's go with the man look. See what I'm saying about that? Like, they just, that's one of the best runs of the game. And it just, if you use the middle linebacker in this, it's very difficult to stop. I mean, it's very difficult to to get huge yards on. Uh, here we're going to go to the zone look, uh, the cover two sink. So we're going to come in and sugar 3 be fire to get to the cover two sink. Quick audible to it real quick here. Play action, yeah. Unfortunately, we forgot to pass commit. And I got caught on that stupid defensive tackle. That caught. See, that's the thing, guys. Every route in this game is so effective. You've got to be on your toes. Alright. Z spot. I'm right there. Give me that. Dang it. Blows my mind sometimes how much I get, how many, how little picks I get with my user control player. I mean, I'm sitting on it. Dang it. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really blow my mind anymore. Ah, <laughs> ah, uh, 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 man. I don't know, guys. I don't know about it. Okay, uh, second and long, we'll just hit him with the zone look. Didn't really get a good look at what he wanted to do last time, so we'll show it to him one more time here. Pick. Please, mean God. Please, pick that off, sir. Okay. He seems to really be kind of like jumpy in the pocket, so we're just going to max coverage him out of the sugar cover three bluff here. Force him to make a read. Come on, man. Uh, mm, if I ever get an interception, I'm going to go nuts. Dang. Fourth and eight here. Uh, this is where we really like to call upon that Sugar 3 DB fire look. Put those safeties in yellow zones. Um, what we're actually going to do is we're going to go to this um, sh Silver Shoot Pinch look. That's why. Because we get the bump and then we get the pressure. And there you go. So that's why we called that, because we want to get that press coverage on the outside. That initial bump and that pressure so hot, it's going to come in and kill him. So, okay, come out Z spot. We're going to actually run some PA post here. Again, the idea is just keep things small. We need a score here, but we definitely cannot afford a turnover on this drive. But you definitely do want to keep going no huddle. A lot more zone this half. Um, back, Kind of back to that. So we'll show him the trio. 
Um, I don't know why I actually. Thing is, um, when you come in a bunch flip, when you audible, it audibles everything flipped up from what I can tell. But nothing changes. That's one of the things I don't understand why people think that the drag's just gonna stop. Like, it's not gonna stop. It doesn't make any sense to me. Quick snap the run here. I said I really like the quick snap running plays. Really like the quick snap running plays. See this run, guys? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. Uh, we're gonna quick snap if we can maybe get one more off. No, I don't think we're gonna get it off. Dang it. I was hoping to get another play in. Sometimes I just get a little too happy, too uh, greedy with my play calling. Um, back to the base play here. He hasn't seen this in a while. We're actually going to put Cameron on a streak this time. Probably zone. No, oh, no, it's man. So we'll just take our, our drag. Stupid halfback got in the way, though. And, guys, really with this offense, I mean, it's a lot of bunch. It really is. Um... But you see, I mean, when we use these quick snap plays like that and the bench and the HB dive, all those plays, we use them uh, and basically as what we tell you, what we talk about in the, in the guide. Um, we quick snap them a lot, a lot, a lot. HB dive here. I mean, he's seen, he's seen pass, he's seen pass, he's seen pass, he's seen run. Pass, 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 run. Pass, 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 run. Run, pass. See, you mix up your play calling, and the idea is you're just kind of trying to buy time at this point because you have the game here. If you, as long as you score here, you should win this game. There should be no question about that. So here we're gonna go down to one of my favorite plays: the single back tight flex bench route sends up sends a heavy pressure blitz. That's what I love about the single back tight. It's really actually really is pretty good for beating heavy pressure. So. Uh, here we're going to quick snap him just because I don't think he's ready to defend this base play. Um, there we go. There's that drag. I say, the, the, the motion snap drag is, is the beginning of everything, guys. It really is. It's just, it's very difficult to guard. Um, and so we'll take advantage of it. Now we'll motion Gordon all the way out. And they leave the flats open. It's just something they have to guard, have to guard, have to guard. Use the bunch properly, guys. If you use the bunch properly, you may not need any other formation. No matter what bunch it is. Bunch is so effective this year, guys. Um, Two-point conversion play. What I like to use in the two-point conversion play, a lot of people... Um, I don't know how many people like this. I love this jet sweep for two-point conversions. Just because it's such a, such a difficult play to stop. Especially since Benjamin, we haven't even been able to show it to him yet. They just get to the edge and go. I mean, it's just kind of like, what are they going to do? I mean, what are they going to do to stop it? They're going to have to run commit. And even when they run commit, it doesn't always stop it. That's what I love about that uh, formation. I wish I could show you more of it because it is one of the best formations in the game, but I just don't use it that much because I feel like if I use it too much, it's one of those things where if you use it too much, you can get burned because it can be stopped. Believe me, it can be stopped. People who are really good at adjusting and are really good at user play, they can really lock that up if you're not careful. That's why you don't want to get too comfortable in it. You want to be good in it. You want to be. You want to have it in your back pocket for that quick hike stuff. But you don't want to rely on that. You know, you always have that in your back pocket. But you don't always. You don't. You know, you can't always use it because if you always use it, like all the time, all game. By the second half, if if that's all you have, then you're gonna be screwed. I really like this max coverage. He's had a lot of he had a lot of trouble with the max coverage D. So we're gonna show him max coverage defense. And of course he calls a freaking draw. And apparently, even though I can't run draws against max coverage defense, he can. See, I don't understand why it's always like I don't understand why I always get dotted against draws. All right, here we go, Max. Or no, we're just showing the base play here. Why is the draw? Open, dead, on. Uh, one sec, guys. Let me get this mic fixed. Uh, anyway, okay. Second and inches. This is obvious. Max coverage D. Maybe that's why he's calling so much draw, but that. Oh, mm. 
Man, he calls that read option. I wish he'd call that a little bit more so I could show you guys how to stop that. But he's not calling it enough that I have to really commit to it. <laughs> Maybe I say that and then all of a sudden he's going to start calling it. Um, we're going to send it here. And that's why we're going to send it. Because he was running draws. I mean, if you're going to run draw, 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 draw. Eventually, I'm going to call the stupid blitz. Now we go man. Two minute warning, okay. Uh, we're actually not going to go man. I think he's having a lot more trouble with his uh, cover three bluff. Global zone, the linebackers, man align. Spy this guy. Put him in something. Why so many draws? I mean, I'm fine with this. This is something, I mean, I'm not fretting about it. It's just kind of frustrating because... Which it may be his strategy to frustrate me to try to get me to blitz hard and him get a big play, but at the end of the day, guys, you you don't overcommit to the draw, especially not this, not with this score, with this clock management. You're not you're not overcommitting. You're just gonna sit back, let your guys do what they do, and T.J. Ward lit him up on that play. Um, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go slant zone two here. Um, I know we don't talk about it. It's just the same. It's all the same, guys. It's all the same. Trust me, it's all the same. Ah, man, I wasn't expecting that. He hasn't thrown that at all in this game. hate when that happens, when they go to something they have not gone to all game. Okay. Alright. Probably going to be Sugar 2 Buzz for me. Probably going to be Sugar 2 Buzz. Actually, no, it's not. It's going to be the... Oh, I didn't call it. Um, run committing here, and then I'm option playing quarterback. That's why right there. And I'll do it again and again and again. Okay, so now he's going to cut out four wide receivers. So this is where you use your man blitz. Silver shoot pinch. Baseline press. Crash line out. Reblitz both linebackers. The way we talk about it all the time. Fake left. Pick. Oh, he dropped it again. Come on, buddy. Hmm. And you can manually move them down if you want to. You don't have to do that. Third and goal. I just showed him a man pressure. Now I'm going to show him a zone look. I'm right there. Oh my gosh. I literally... I was trying to use a press to tight end. It didn't let me use a press. I was trying to cut recover on him. I was right there when he threw the ball. Still threw it right through me. Luckily, Madden was like, okay, Cody, we'll give you some props. Made his dude drop the ball. Now I'm going to send the man look, guys. That's what I'm doing. I'm mixing up the coverage behind it. Again, okay, so last time we saw quarterback sneak out of this. What do you think I'm doing? I'm run committing straight down with the quarterback sneak. I've got this guy over top just in case. And there you go. That's a stop. That's a goal line stand. That's pretty decent, guys. So uh, that's going to about wrap it up for the scheme. Um, so we're going to get checked down into that uh, I formed twins here and just kind of ground out the rest of the game. But, guys, this is what I like to do from this playbook, guys. I really like the Chicago Bears playbook. I think it's one of the better playbooks in the game. If you use it properly and you hi you kind of hide that, um, you know, you kind of save that trio. I'm sorry for my controller going nuts, but if you if you gotta just kind of save that trio for clutch situations, um, it's one of the better run. It's one of the better plays in the game, and I don't know why I can't. I don't know what's going on with my controller right now. I apologize for that. But uh, another good game, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I know I wasn't as excited as I normally am, but uh, real quick, we'll show you one thing. I do want to show you that jet sweep one time out of that five wide receiver trio because you've only seen it out of like you haven't seen it with, with Benjamin running it and Benjamin's like the best guy to run this thing well on the Browns anyways and you just go to the edge and then turn it upfield it's almost like a kick return idea but anyways guys that's the idea thanks for watching this week I really appreciate all your guys' support um, and be sure to 
come back for next week. I have another great uh, gameplay uh, for you guys. It's going to be pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoy next week's Game of the Week as much as you enjoyed this one. If you guys have any tips for me on how I can improve my commentary, my tips, my feedback, or anything you guys can give me, uh, would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great weekend and watch some Sunday Night Football. Enjoy, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's Game of the Week, and we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.